Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Amadai Shakur. So someone left me a comment about my last video, uh, the one that identified Mauricio Gar Garcia as the person that carried out the shooting and the Texas outlets on Saturday. Well, they said neo-Nazi, he has a Hispanic last name, chilling. People who look like me uh, take out people who look like them every day in every town in America. Oh, so they went there? Okay, now we're gonna get into it, pay attention. Uh, first off, let's address the fact that he said this person has a Hispanic last name, and so he obviously doesn't think uh, that they could be a white supremacist. I find that interesting because, first of all, they said he was a suspected white supremacist sympathizer. A sympathizer does not mean he was actually one. A sympathizer is a person who agrees with their ideology and supports them in their foolishness, okay? But here's the thing. Even if he were a white supremacist, that wouldn't be so strange. You see, because there are many people who look like him of his own lineage and ethnicity that, in fact, want to be down with white supremacy. Let's get into it. Now, some of them actually pass themselves off as being Caucasian when, in fact, they are not. But they want to be down because they think uh, that those people are superior to everyone else. And so they'll try to blend in. I call it getting in where they fit in. But here's the thing. The leader of the Proud Boys, a whole white supremacist group by the name of Enrique Tarrio, okay, who's Afro-Cuban, pay attention, he was leading a whole white supremacist group and recently he was convicted of his role in the January 6th Capitol riot. Does he look like a Caucasian? No, he doesn't. Does he have a Caucasian last name? No, he doesn't. But yet he was leading a whole white supremacist group and he wants to be and considers himself a white supremacist. You see, one thing about America, there are many people who pretend to be something that they are not. Not just America, all over the world. Uh, you see, there was Emma here, who's a social media influ influencer. Emma Hallberg, I think is her name. Uh, she likes to pretend that she's a person who looks like me and she even gets monetized for doing so. So if she did something crazy, are we supposed to say, well, she doesn't look like that's what she do? Please pay attention. Then you have associate professor Jessica Krug, who also pretended to be someone who looks like me when she was absolutely Caucasian. Last but not least, let's not forget the infamous Rachel Dolezal, who did exactly the same thing. And as far as his comments about people who look like me taking out one another, well, homicide is a crime of proximity. And so people tend to take out the people that they live around. And most people, no matter their race or ethnic group, tend to live around people who look like them, okay? And it's a fact that most people who are uh, deleted by homicide, well, that usually happens by someone who looks like them. Even most serial killers take out people who look like them. Not all the time, but in most cases, pay attention. 